Alright, graph science video. Don't know how much use this has. Again, I should stop responding to people because it's just a waste of time. You just preach the truth and ignore the, the deceivers and the liars and the bullshitters and the fucktards. Um, you know, I'll wait till somebody who can actually be a, make an accountable argument um, <laughs> that is on the subject uh, because these assholes can't manage it. So, uh, I got a couple of, just a minute into this video, and it just, here we just do another rationalization for bullshit. So, he posts a video implying that Professor Lewin would think that you can explain the single slit experiment, and as classically understood, it's not an experiment about the Heisenberg um, effect, it's an experiment about the Newton's rings and about single slit diffraction. It's about the diffraction, and the diffraction relies on Huygens. To do it mathematically, to make it, to make the pattern exist, you have to use Huygens. There's no other way to create the two photons necessary, <laughs> the duplicate ton, the duplicate wave function, <clears throat> and that's the truth. And Lewin would never endorse you putting the idea that he was you explaining the single slit diffraction pattern without using Huygens, and that's what your title implied. It was clear. Um, and it was just plain wrong, and instead of just saying, yeah, I shouldn't have, that was bullshit. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. The two separate subjects, he was just using it as an example of something completely different. He wasn't talking about single slit diffraction. Instead of saying that, he's going to do this rationalizing bullshit. I mean, none of these people have any integrity or honesty. It's just such a waste of time to communicate with these fuckers. Why um, a wave Let's understand it's not a wave. It's not a wave of photons. It's not a wave of electrons. It's a fucking probability wave in front of a single photon. Let's understand what Huygens is. It's not a real thing. It's a thing to explain a mathematical probability. Fuck. It's not a material thing in any way ever discovered, in any way ever proven, in any way ever analyzed as a real thing. It's a, it's a contrived explanation that fits the mathematical requirements. Linear wave front when hitting... Uh, um... Again, let's understand, it's a linear wave front, exactly. That means it's not like a typical water wave. This is not uh, 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 you know, wave mechanics in any classical sense. It's completely anti-classical. Wave theory is completely anti-classical. Particle theory is classical physics. Wave theory is not classic physics. Fuck. A gap propagates as a point source. A gap propagates as a point source. That's not Huygens. It propagates as two, two, two point sources. <clears throat> and that is spreads out. That is part of the... Again, that is not part of classical mechanics. Yes, in water waves, that's what it is. And that's what it is in the single slit with water waves. That's not what it is in the single slit with electrons or photons. And that's not why Huygens had to be invented. You don't need Huygens to explain a wave in water. You can explain that with classical mechanics of tension and physics, uh, of friction. In principle. So the video was uploaded um, to reassert what I've already asserted uh, once prior to that video, uh, that Huygens' mathematics is classical. Okay, there's just nothing classical about it. Again, we're talking about a, a non-existent, non-physical wave in front of a photon. Where Huygens was explicitly one of the or one, one of the when the founders of quantum mechanics of the the idea of um, um, uh, some sort of uh, uh, magical variable that's giving the photon powers to do things. So this is just bullshit. It's completely anti-classical. Huygens was not a classical physicist. He was a, a completely a quantum mechanics physicist. The belief in physics is quantum mechanics. You give a physicist a choice whether to back a classical explanation or a quantum explanation, he backs the quantum explanation. 
Well, and again, and what does this have to do with anything? The whole point of my argumentation is to point out how all of those backings are backed on trivial evidence that they misrepresent. It's not, it's not only bad that the evidence is trivial, okay, in terms of being completely circumstantial. We have, a, we have an effect. We'll just invent a visible men to sit there and cause the effect. It's completely contrived, Huygens. Um, not used consistently, as explained in my videos. We have a principle. We don't apply it everywhere consistently, so that's not exactly the definition of a fucking principle. And then third, they don't even say it right. They don't even describe it accurately when they talk about it. And yet you'll sit there and argue with me that these physicists have some sort of thing called integrity and that I haven't somehow exposed their fucking naked emperor bullshit. And I have, thoroughly. As more thoroughly tested. Yeah, again, more thoroughly tested. None of it's been tested. You can't test invisible man theories. I can't test the God theory. I, I can only test it as a reasonable explanation in light of the other alternative evidence. If there's no alternative explanation, well, then you have to go with the silly putty. But guess what? If you look a little tiny bit, you can come up with alternative explanations that have that are perfectly rational explanations that say something like well gee the photon seems to be the very very tiny thing the matter seems to be made of a whole bunch of things which thing is more likely to be causing the effect the thing with the very small thing that has very limited function or the thing that is complex and has very complex function gee which this is a hard question huh it is illustrative of the problem of mathematics in that you have two models that give the same Well, the, this whole obsession with mathematics is if a mathematical model is an accurate description was a, a, was a misnomer from the very beginning. Yeah, there's lots of different ways. The very fact that some equations use, uh, you know, uh, the, the wavelength and then uh, they'll use the trick of using the frequency later in the, in, the, in the same equation just to make the two things cancel out. So they can carry it along as a, as a complex number or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and, and allow the, the, the equation not to, to go to zero by keeping this fake thing in there, and then they'll just take the fake thing out later by multiplying by the opposite. These are just tricks. If you watch the... I could pick them up, but... Um, the 60 Symbols YouTube uh, site talking about light diffraction um, through glass as many videos you know. yeah yeah i already played that video so again what does that have to do with it okay the fact that the, the, the light um, obviously photons have a real hard time getting through glass glass is a complex uh, matrix and clearly that's why light slows down is because it's doing something while it's in the glass it's doing stuff that's why it takes it a while to get through the glass another duh statement it's one of them um provides two different accounts of, of, of what is going on in there, a classical account and a quantum account. And at the end... Uh, um, Again, this conversation isn't about that. This conversation is about Professor Lewin, uh, the Yale professors, that, and so we got MIT and Yale, and they both say things like, the two-slit experiment is the nail in the coffin of classical physics. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about what they use all the time, constantly, I can find all kinds of videos where the two-slit experiment is demonstrated to be this wacky, crazy, bizarre thing that's happening. So this, the very idea that you are denying that truth, that that is what they're calling their foundational fucking uh, 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 um, paradox that needs resolution. And, and here you are sitting there talking about now some, some other piece of, of uh, uh, quantum mechanics, if you want to call it that, are the relationship between photons and matter, <laughs> okay? Uh, yeah, it's not really relevant. Pushed by the video maker says, well, quantum's the truth. Right, some other issues that, well, if, if, if you can't uh, produce the quote, I think um, oh, what? I gotta waste my. You're gonna force me to waste my time. I can't. I can produce it, and it's gonna be a waste of my time. If I produce this quote, what do I get for it? For fuck's sake, I don't get a goddamn thing. But you're gonna do the same bullshit tomorrow. So unless I can earn points of saying you're a cunt, 
Okay, are you lose integrity? Will you accept a loss in your integrity if I produce the fucking Feynman quote? Will, will I be allowed to say you have now gone from, if you had 80% integrity, you now have 60% integrity? Is there something I can put on your goddamn face saying, this asshole was wrong, he was fucking wasted my goddamn time producing a fucking quote that he already knows exists? I mean, this is just such a pile of fucking shit. You're going to waste my time finding a Feynman quote where Feynman's an arrogant fuck? You don't know that Feynman's an arrogant fuck? Bullshit you don't know that. You don't think Feynman was full of himself? Thought he was a goddamn genius? Should stop being so hard on um, Mr. Feynman on that front. Uh, well, again, so, so there's, I'm just saying, what do I get for it? I'll, I'll show you the quote. I'll show you every fucking stupid thing Feynman says. I'll go to the trouble of spending six hours, and I'll put together every fucking dumb, arrogant thing Feynman ever says. And if I do that, then will you concede you're an arrogant, pompous asshole who wasted my valuable time? Similarly, you accuse me of um, arguing mitigation, and, and that's true. For these physicists. I made my argument. Um, you, you, you say it's a rationalization, perhaps. But I... It's a trivialization of grotesque unprofessionalism. It's grotesque unprofessionalism. This is their foundational nail in the fucking coffin, okay, experiment, and they can't teach it accurately. That's not important. I mean, this, if this was going on in a medical school, if they were making these kind of mistakes in something that actually mattered in our civilization, okay, and it didn't just make the difference between us not spending $56 billion on some stupid hand-drawn collider, if there was something else a little more fucking valuable on the line, you wouldn't want your fucking professionals doing this bullshit. Oh, the leg bone is connected to the elbow bone. Well, it is, kind of. You wouldn't want doctors singing that song, would you? I would counter that with um, the, the, um, the claim that really you're just rationalizing your uh, vitriol against these... Uh, I, I have vitriol against you. It's not against them. I've, ex I've conceded their incompetence is based on the fucking mob mentality, okay? The mob of physics has told everybody you're too stupid to find the answer. Einstein couldn't do it. Feynman can't do it. You can't find, you can't do it. So just accept this bullshit is the game we're going to play. And everybody gets, their, their egos get smashed down. They all think they're stupid because they can't understand it. They're saying, gee, Feynman must understand it or he wouldn't be teaching it. So I must be an asshole because I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I mean, this all sounds like wacky shit. Shit. There's waves in front of waves that are not real waves, but some sort of wave. There's dark matter that does everything matter does, except you can't see it, and you can't find it, and you can't reflect light off of it, you can't do anything physical to it. It's like the invisible man that's really fat somehow. It's just fat, invisible man. Oh, okay, I'll do whatever. If there's no other way to explain it, I guess we're stuck with that. Yeah. My, my, that, that's my, my, my critique is, I said, I haven't been vitriol against it. I was just saying I'm vitriol against all you people saying that's good enough. This is the good foundation for let's sell this as a proven fact that we don't need to think about it anymore. It's all done. Physics is finished. No, 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 no. Long way from good enough. ...against the establishment by claiming that, that you've decided that this one experiment... They, they have decided, again, how many, t I've, I've shown you Yale, I've shown you MIT, I could probably find a Stanford quote, nail in the coffin, this is the experiment, I mean, fuck this shit, I could, I could find a Feynman quote saying it, you got Feynman, Lewin, and whoever the guy at Yale is, I could probably find the guy at Stanford doing the same bullshit. No. Again, these are lectures, these are filmed lectures at universities where people pay thousands of dollars to get educated. This, is, this isn't fucking lay shit, you stupid cunt. To, to call certain people liars, there is only one justifiable way you can do that. That is to have their paper 
have their results, recreate the experiment for yourself and say, no, the data is wrong, is manufactured. Or, oh, again, it, that was a, it's not even my argument. So once again, this complete bullshit. Once it, just, just, just completely lie about my position. My position isn't that people are lying. Okay, there are some people, I think, who are being deliberately manipulative. Okay, like, like even the Edinburgh experiment. Where, yeah, well, here's some plates that really, these photographic plates really don't match, you know, Einstein's theory being right. So, you know, let's, let's randomly toss some plates out. And they kind of put the ones they want to get rid of in the, right in front of the random pool. Yeah, so I think there's games like that being played. They know what the results should look like, and they sort of make the results look the way they, they're supposed to turn out. So, yeah, I think there is some of that chicanery, but I'm not going to redo every one of those experiments. I'm just going to point out when an experiment isn't done to the high rigor that we should expect. When we sit there and read results, that we should expect a little more data about how the experiment was done. Because we know how many times they're wrong. How many times does NASA have to show up saying, we have, uh, we found a new life form on Earth. Yeah, and they made it in a bucket by pouring arsenic in a bucket. Or two, the conclusions in your paper are wrong. It's not about, again, <laughs> the conclusions are based on some kind of idea that, look, it, it looks like an invisible man. It acts like an invisible man. It must be an invisible man. I mean, how can I argue with a conclusion that that's stupid? It's based on assumptions, no evidence. They're just making up a theory to explain the results. I, I don't have a right to complain and say, Jesus, that doesn't sound like science. I, still, I thought science was supposed to be something about evidence. You don't just make up a three pig story and say, there, the three pigs explains it, doesn't it? Isn't that good enough? And on to the final um, element. I mean, it's the difference. Is all I'm con all I'm asking from this whole fucking bullshit is for you just to concede this is not strong evidence. It's a weak foundation. This isn't a nail, the last nail in the coffin. This isn't the biggest spike in the coffin. This is weak evidence to draw hard conclusions. That's all I'm asking you to concede, you motherfucker. And you're sitting there showing your lack of integrity by not conceding the simple point that this isn't exactly hard evidence. You don't convict physics on this evidence. You don't convict the idea of wave-particle duality or any of this other kind of shit on evidence this fucking week. I don't believe just because elements of matter exist for fractions of a second that are predicted within a theory, you get to discount them. Oh, they're not predicted within the theory. Oh, oh, oh we go, we're going to predict that when particles are going super, super fast from space, cosmic rays, and they hit electrons, that they're going to break the electrons into pieces, or they're going to break a proton into a, the, the, the constituent parts, and, we, and we're going to call it a muon. Okay, and it's going to be a decaying particle. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. How the fuck did quantum mechanics predict that, you motherfucking cunt? That's just more of this engrandizing, engrossing. Quantum mechanics predicted that trees like to grow in, in moist soil. Quantum mechanics predicted that poo-poo uh, is going to smell. I mean, bull fucking shit it predicted that, you stupid cunt. And that becomes a fucking relativity argument because it's about the fucking fact that the goddamn fucking muon is moving so fast through the fucking atmosphere that it decays slower than it's supposed to be. So that's a time dilation argument, you dumb jerk. Not a quantum mechanics argument. You get to discount their existence. I get to discount their existence where, where the two slit experiments being performed. So if you want to perform the two slit experiment above the atmosphere, well then we can start talking about muons hitting the light. Maybe the two slit experiment results will be completely different in the upper atmosphere of the earth. Because yeah, there'll be all kinds of more radiation up there and that'll fuck up the results. But is that going to make, is that going to verify my argument or is that going to verify your argument? Whose side is that going to fix? The fact that Oh, a bunch of radiation pumped into the two slits might fuck up the results. Well, gee, I think we both can use that as an argument. Um, I do believe, I've tried to find the clip, but uh, it wasn't hand in the mind. I've seen it recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could find the clip. I guess I could show you lectures again where they have the thing that makes the giant electrical potential, you know, whatever it's called, the Kelvin ball or whatever the fuck it's called. And, and uh, 
There's no need for them to talk about muons and taus and all of this other crap. They're talking about electrons covering the surface of it and creating electrical potential in the atmosphere where there's a, a difference in the voltage in the actual atmosphere and that you could put a fluorescent tube in it and you turn it this way, it doesn't do anything. You turn it this way, there's a difference in the potential and it lights up. Yeah, no one needs to talk about muons in that circumstance. No one needs to account for the taus. They don't say, oh, the taus are hitting the bulb and making it glow. No, none of that shit. That there is um, a radioactive element which, which produces antimatter, and you can set up... Um Again, those are, these are experiments based on assumptions going in. I've pointed out that the simplest experiment in fucking quantum mechanics, the simplest, two fucking slits for fuck's sake, and a light source or an electron beam, which is a little more complicated, actually, so let's stay with light because it keeps it simple, stupid. The simplest experiment ever, and they can't describe it accurately. You're telling me, oh, I'm supposed to just trust them when they got five you know, hundred thousand dollars of computers and software and bullshit doing the experiment. Oh yeah, we know that there's antimatter because their five thousand dollar blah 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 machine made one. Fuck you. This is something I want to do. It's a relatively simple experiment, but you have to have access to dry ice. I'm sure I should be able to source some uh, around Manchester in England. <clears throat> Yes, you make a cloud chamber and then you put a radioactive source and you're not going to prove antimatter. Good luck with that one. You can make your own cloud chamber with basically... Um, a yes, I did this when I was... Shit, 11? No, 10? 11. Glass fish box container, a fish uh, aquarium container. Um, dry ice and clear alcohol. You're better off making it a much smaller one because it's a lot easier to control a small experiment than a big experiment. You can make a cloud chamber in which you can see both. If you place this radioactive element at the side, you'll see um, positrons deflected by a magnetic field one way. Replace the element by a different one that emits electrons and you'll see the electron deflected the other, say, the other way um, with, you know, similar curvatures indicating similar speeds and masses. But that's, but, which has been... Yeah, but, 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 but which is, but, 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 which has, you know, again, another one of these, these, this whole bullshit about, you're worrying about the, the density of discrete particles, and again, that's already been established by a million experiments. There's actually absolutely no complexity. Nobody worries about positrons in, in, the, in the transformer that does their uh, voltage uh, uh, reduction. Nobody worries about tr tr positrons in a Tesla uh, electric car. Nobody worries about positrons anywhere. Okay, this isn't a relevant part of, of, of rational dissection of the physical universe. It's not a relevant player. And it's known not to be a relevant player. Finally calculated and finally experimented on, but that's just a, a rough indication of a kind of matter that exists in the world, um, which, which proposes potentially a problem for your theory, I don't know. But, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. Well, I do know, and I think other physicists already know, okay? Maxwell didn't have to worry about it. Nobody in physics has had to worry about accounting for positrons because they can create con completely conservative uh, formulas that are quite reliable, okay, without accounting for the positron factor. So we know they're not a player, and they're not a substantial player. There's obviously mechanisms, like we haven't detailed what the, exactly the neutrons do and how they function with the, the protons and all of that stuff, but we know the in Input and we know the output, and we don't need positron theory, okay, to understand most of the mechanical universe. It can't simply be dismissed. Yes, it can be dismissed for the purpose of, of getting to the, the, the basic function here. We really don't need to worry whether the chess pieces are made out of plastic or whether they're made out of marble or whether they're made out of glass. So it's not really relevant to the big picture mechanics here. Okay, The, the positron is not a huge player in most of the uh, energy dynamics of the world we live in. They made the nuclear bomb without worrying about positrons. standard model predicts this, allowing for quarks and antiquarks.
Uh, yeah, and again, all of this stuff has absolutely nothing to do with any of the actual function of uh, the material universe, and that's a goddamn known fact. Again, these equations have been done to death. They have frozen stuff. They have they have quantified. They've they've taken stuff and put it inside of a vessel and then heated it up and found every single calorie that came back out of it. Now, I mean, this is just such non-important bullshit. So again, you're going to play that. You're going to take the distract from the subject. Nail in the coffin experiment. Experiment, the two slit experiment, the simplest experiment in goddamn physics that can't be accurately described by a single motherfucking cunt physicist, professional physicist, and then you're going to sit there and change the goddamn subject to this bu bullshit, obscure motherfucking uh, uh, you know, physics of, of the of the millimighty second stuff that has a, a fucking half life of, of a, a, a billionth of a second. Fuck you. Charge one third. That's all. No, I chew on your fucking you rubber off. brain. Not, um, you know, I think some of these heavier, these these more exotic electron type objects than you all and such. I think they they may be the ones which are making it to the cloud chamber. Through these cloud chambers, it was it was also discovered through those cosmic rays which come have come down. Um, those spotted antiparticles, the, the, the tracks and pictures managed to get in the story of antimatter. Again, a, 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 an obscure, tiny part of physics. So go ahead, go ahead and play this game that somehow any of that shit has any real hard relevance to the day-to-day uh, -day functions between photons and uh, I, we go back to even Einstein and the, and, and the photoelectric effect. It, it, there was no need to account for any of this positron crap. So, at the very least, you, you have to account for them. I would have to have it. Um, okay, well then we're done with our, our we're done having a conversation because you you're not even close to getting a goddamn clue. I mean, I present evidence that their foundation a nail in the coffin argument for wave theory is weak as as could possibly be as evidence is. I pointed out how the lensing arguments are weak as fuck. I'm pointing out basically that the foundations of physics that are defending all this Einstein bent space and Einstein's relativity and the whole idea which Einstein was against of wave theory is all just made out of nonsense. It, the, the fucking evidence is so... Su it's, it's fucking uh, a shroud of Turin bullshit. And you won't admit it? Fine, I get that. Okay, you're, you're, a, you're just sucking the dick of the Pope. You're a fucking Pope lawyer defending the child abusers. Go ahead, jackass. Be a stupid cunt. But that's all I can see, okay? What do you want me to see when I see you? When I see you rationalize and make excuses for the, the, for, for the lamest uh, bullshit uh, uh, fucking f fraud that is this, this idea that the two-slit experiment has all the magic in it when, you, when they fucking goddamn know that the single slit is a lot harder to explain. I think we've created whole antiparticles. The, the, the whole fucking anti part. I'm not. Even, I don't want to get into that. But I mean, another obscure, tiny bits of evidence, and the 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 cognitive proof is that it doesn't really make any sense in the model. You can't really make this the system work because now you end up with a bunch of extra energy. E equals m c squared. What where happens to these these anti particles? I mean, even the way Feynman des described it, uh, they collide into each other and annihilate each other. One minute he implies that the annihilation is zero, that, that in the circumstances, these are the circumstances where I'm arguing that, you know what, they're trying to get rid of the energy gravity creates, so this is how they're getting rid of it. They're getting rid of the extra energy by creating an annihilation event that annihilates the extra energy. Um, and then in other circumstances, they'll talk about, no, well, they don't annihilate they release, you know, one seven point seven gigahertz of, you know, <laughs> of uh, of uh, electron volts. Yeah, seven point seven electron volts. Cosmology and physics. 
um, believes that matter and antimatter was created in equal amounts and is, it, and is every bit um, as real as, as normal matter. There could be regions in the universe. Yeah, every bit is real. Again, then why wasn't it accounted for? Then why doesn't it have any calorie profile? Then why doesn't stuff just annihilate inside of beakers somewhere and we actually break E equals MC squared? Why, why doesn't any of that shit happen? universe completely made of antimatter. So yeah, yeah, right. You'll just leave it there with a complete distraction, just completely change the subject. I mean, I'm talking about tiger stripes, and then you sit there and decide to talk about a potted plant. I mean, just such complete bullshit, complete evasion, complete nonsense. Why should I find you in a respectable conversationalist? What the fuck are you saying that's at all relevant to the, to the evidence I've demonstrated, the proofs I've provided, the argumentation I have made? Where have you countered any of it? Where have you made a single solid? done a single solitary thing besides make bold excuses saying they know what they're doing. That's all you're doing here. You're saying there's nothing to see here. The fact that they can't get any of this shit right and the evidence is lame and weak doesn't mean a thing. Yeah, it means a fucking lot. It means that's why they got it wrong. It's because assholes like you just keep sucking their fucking dick. Uh, dismissal of these things. Um, I'm, I'm calling them, well... I don't know whether you go on to dis discount their existence as lies or that you don't need to account for them because they're not um, part of everyday life. Well, then why aren't they part of their explanation of everyday life? Why don't they? Why doesn't Professor Lewin talk about them when he talks about the single slit experiment? Why doesn't he use that as an excuse? Oh, it's a positron did it. Why don't they use positrons as the excuse if positrons do it? Fuck you. They are predictions, and they've been shown. That is the strength of modern... That would be claimed that the strength of modern particle physics. It's not particle physics, it's wave physics. Newsflash, jackass. And the standard model. Okay, we don't. Cheers. Yeah, fuck you. Why do I waste my goddamn time? Well, I waste my time because it's a video made by somebody, so I'll respond to it. But yeah, we're done now. Unless you're going to make a completely humi self-humiliating video conceding that you're just not on the program here at all. You're not paying any goddamn attention. I have two things, well, two jobs to do. First, explain my theory as a rational argument, which I think I'm, I've done very well. And then second, point out why you need a new theory, why the old theory is full of holes. It's just complete nonsense. It's just made up bullshit. It's a bunch of fucking invisible men put on the charts to make everything happen. There's very little real physics in their physics. Their physics is mostly made out of non-real things that are making stuff happen. And you don't see a problem. God damn. So we yeah, have fuck you. Shit.